Today I'm gonna show you how you can make beats only using one shots. If you don't know what a one shot is, it's an individual audio file that you can manipulate with a sampler to create melodies and drum patterns. It could be any type of sound and you can easily find free kits online so it's great if you don't have those expensive plugins. And honestly after you put a couple of effects you can't even tell the difference so let's do this. Alright so I just found this guitar pluck, definitely gonna boost it up a bit so it's louder. Now I'm just gonna try and come up with a nice melody or chord progression. So right now what I'm doing is technically a 1 to 7 chord progression in the minor mode. So if I put this up here, you can definitely see that the root note is D sharp. We can add a couple of effects on this. So let's put this on track 1 and then add some reverb. And there's a difference right away. Reverb makes everything nice. But I want to try something else on this guitar. I want to put guitar rig. Go search for effects and see what uh, we can come up with. Go in effects type and maybe get some delay in here. So already this sounds way better. If you press command B, it's just gonna duplicate the whole melody. I feel like we can definitely go and like find a better sound, like a guitar sound. So I just got this new sound here. And what I wanna do is take off the release. So we're gonna put the hold to the max and everything else down. So like that, when you play the sound, and you stop, it stops. Let's see if I put the other guitar on the same channel and put those effects on. Oof, this is this is pretty heavy actually. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate this. I have this key sound right here. Let's see if I copy and paste the same pattern. And let's get these up an octave. Maybe I can have the third note always going up. We're getting some different textures here, so I really like this. I feel like I should just go ahead and start with the drums. I'm gonna play with the velocity. I like this hi-hat pattern, so we're just gonna duplicate this. Like the hi-hat is a one shot too, so if I want the hi-hat to be sharper, I'm just gonna put that out a bit more like this. Perfect, so now I'm gonna go and search for a clap or a snare right here. Raise the velocity a bit and then just command B all the way. Let's see what it sounds like now. Okay, we can go and lay down the 808s now. If I want the spins to be shorter, I'm gonna do the same thing here. Kind of messed it up a bit, but we're gonna quantize it. Let's make sure we're on step here. Put the velocity all the way up. Let's hear this. All right, all right. Dun, 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 dun. I feel like doing something extra here. Dun. Dun. All right, this makes a lot of sense. Raise it up a bit. Got it, we got it. I'm gonna save this. So I have this flute here. I'm gonna put it on stretch mode so like that. If you change pitches, the timing is gonna stay the same. We're gonna add effects to that flute. You know what, let's go guitar rig again. Guitar rig is just crazy. It makes everything sound like different. See, maybe I can find like a vocal chop or something. And that's definitely going to be the last one shot that we put in there. We're going to go and try to find out the pitch in the audio editor. So if you right click here, edit an audio editor, you can right click again, regions, detect pitch regions, and it's on D sharp. So it's perfect because we are in D sharp. I feel like we could add some, uh, maybe just delay on this, just so it keeps going a bit. Let's see if I put it all the way.
All right, so there's a bit of like distortion in the echo. All right, so the beat is pretty much done. I'm just gonna go ahead and make an arrangement. All right, so let's start it from the top. I just played with the loops a bit. I chopped them up to create like an intro and climax. And I also have Looperator going here. It's automation. The guitar is coming in now. So that's it for this beat. I made it using one shots only. I just added a bunch of effects on the sounds and especially with Guitar Rig, it offers so many different textures and presets to make the sounds more interesting. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next week.